Hey everybody and welcome back to another Max Velocity weather forecast and in today's forecast we'll be breaking down two big winter storms that are coming to the United States over the next 48 hours and these winter storms are going to dump feet of snow across areas like the central and northern plains even areas like the Midwest will get a little bit of snow and as well as the northeast United States specifically in northern New England where many areas will be picking up one to two feet of snow today in addition to this there will be the threat of some significant severe weather as we go into both tomorrow and as well as Monday. I'll be giving you the latest breakdown on everything that you need to know in this forecast. And then let's begin with what's going to be happening with these two different storms over the next several days. And we're going to begin with the infrared imagery. This gives you an idea of what's happening in real time with the cloud cover across the country. And this is the infrared imagery from early this morning. And you can notice that there's actually a low pressure system down here in the southeast United States. That's what's moving into New England right now, bringing all the snowfall. We also have another low pressure system that's just off the coast of California and Washington. And this particular low pressure system is what we're going to be watching for tonight into tomorrow, which will bring the threat of some significant severe weather tomorrow and Monday. In addition to that, it'll also bring a pretty large winter storm across the northern and central plains and even back into the Midwest. But something that's pretty interesting with this particular low pressure system on the East Coast is that it actually did bring a couple of tornado warnings to southern Florida late last night. We had a lot of water spouts off sure as well at least from what we saw on radar obviously that's pretty hard to verify in real time because water spouts you don't have boaters out there chasing it for example but water spouts do obviously happen quite often had a few of those last night and all this activity again moving off to the northeast we're done with severe weather across florida at least for now there a chance might return sometime during the week but i do think it'll stay very low overall but again that storm moving to the north and east and that's what's going to be bringing the potential for a winter storm as we go throughout the day today which it's already begun for most of the north Northeast. Notice the watches and warnings across the country. Got a bunch of winter storm warnings in effect across northern New England, and even parts of central New England near the Massachusetts, New Hampshire, and Vermont borders. Winter weather advisories in effect for areas like Connecticut back into upstate and western parts of New York. We also have winter storm watches in effect at the time recording this forecast across the northern plains, including Minnesota, even the upper Midwest like Wisconsin, and that'll be for our second winter storm, which we will talk about after the first one here in just a couple of minutes. And then winter storm warnings in effect for Montana and also some winter weather advisories over there. One thing I do want to point out is that there are actually winter storm warnings in effect for the higher elevations of California. That is because with that low pressure system, there will be some very heavy snowfall throughout the day today across the higher elevations. So something to watch for there if you're back over in California. Let's begin with the first winter storm, beginning with the one in the northeast. This is the first winter storm of two that we're going to be dealing with over the next 48 hours. Beginning with this morning, notice all that heavy snowfall falling across much of New England. England right now. Here's your rain and snow line. It's basically right along the Massachusetts and New Hampshire border and along the Vermont border. So that's where we have that transition line between rain and snow. Once we go throughout the late morning, though, that transition line will move to the north. So areas in southern New Hampshire and southern Vermont, you'll begin to go to straight up rain. And that is because we're going to have a lot of moisture beginning to surge out of the south and as well as some warmer weather. And that should lead to at least more of a rain concern across areas in southern and even central New England. With that being said through lunchtime the heaviest of the snowfall will be falling across central and northern New England back over in central New Hampshire northern New Hampshire and back into much of Maine by the time we go into the evening hours the heaviest of the snow will likely actually fall then so right around about four to five o'clock heaviest bands of snow will be on the back side of the slow pressure system right over central New Hampshire and central Vermont that is when visibility will be reduced to very low amounts across those areas so make sure that you are taking it slow on the roadways and by the evening hours this is all moving off to the north and no later than midnight will basically be done with snow across New England. It's a very quick moving system. With that being said, we are going to be having a boatload of snow across these areas. And this could actually break records for this time of the year because obviously in late March, we usually do not get a whole lot of snow even in New England. But look at these snowfall accumulation totals that are currently being projected by the HRRR model. Notice many areas between 12 to 18 inches of snow. Jackpot totals near two feet of snow possible across areas in central Vermont and as well as even central New Hampshire. Crazy stuff, especially for late March. Obviously not unheard of. We've seen this before in New England, but stuff like this does not happen every day or even every year here across the areas like New England and the Northeast. But enjoy the snow. It's going to be a lot of snow. This will stick around at least for a few days before it probably melts sometime during the later half of the week once warmer weather returns again. Now, the second winter storm is going to be causing a couple of different problems, one of which will be the winter storm. The other one will be the threat of severe weather, which begins mainly on Sunday and will go into Monday 
across much of the central and southern plains and eventually into the southeast. So let's break down that storm for you. But I did want to mention, notice the storm on the east coast today. It is huge. It's actually going all the way from Cuba back into Canada. It's a very large storm. It really blew up over the last 24 hours. It obviously was not this large yesterday. It's really blown up over the last 24 hours here across the east coast. Luckily, it's all moving offshore for the most part, other than the New England area seeing snow. Eventually, we are going to have a large storm of our own, though, across the Great Plains as we go into late tonight into tomorrow morning. Here's your low pressure system tomorrow morning right over Colorado. Snow off to the north. That'll create some winter storm conditions there. Not really looking at any blizzard conditions, though, for the most part. Once we go around lunchtime tomorrow, that snow will ramp up, and it's going to be a large area, by the way. A lot of it will be light, but it'll stretch anywhere from the Michigan Peninsula back into areas like western Wisconsin, all the way through areas like Wyoming and even into California. Some showers and storms possible across the central and southern plains during the late afternoon on Sunday. Eventually, we're watching for severe weather during Sunday evening. I'll be talking a little bit more about that here in a minute. And eventually, as we go into Monday, that snow will all be moving through Minnesota, where heavy snow will be possible. Even in areas like northern Wisconsin, heavy snow possible there as well. Severe weather will continue Monday across areas from Missouri back into Louisiana and Arkansas. Eventually, going into Tuesday, that severe weather threat will be lower across areas in the southeast, comparatively to what we're going to be talking about in the southern plains and the Mississippi Valley. Heavy snow all moving into areas like Canada, and eventually by Wednesday, we are done with this particular storm. Maybe a little bit of snow in central parts of Oklahoma on early Wednesday morning. It's a possibility. It's a low chance. I don't expect much accumulation, but perhaps another freeze before the end of the freezing cycle across areas in the central and southern plains. In terms of total snowfall accumulation, we're not really talking about much for the most part in the central plains. The main focus will be Colorado, where several inches, maybe even a foot of snow possible in the higher elevations. Northern Nebraska, some of those areas between three to six inches of snow, but the main event will be across areas in the northern plains, like Minnesota and as well as South Dakota. Many areas just west of Minneapolis could get as much as two feet of snow. So be prepared for that if you're over there. Lots of snow ahead. You will need a snow shovel for sure. And over in the Midwest, not really much if you're in the Chicago suburbs or even in Michigan. Very minimal, maybe a coating to an inch if you're lucky. Main concern will be across northern Wisconsin where many areas will see between 6 to 12 inches of snow in those areas. And there is a threat of severe weather across the central and southern plains tomorrow. This is something that we're probably going to be going live for here on our YouTube channel, so make sure that you're subscribed. Click the bell icon down below so you're notified if and when we do go live. There is a slight risk of severe weather for central Kansas back into northern parts of Oklahoma. Conditional marginal threat back into north central Texas. Main concern tomorrow will be large hail, but a tornado or two, perhaps even a few tornadoes, will be possible if we get the correct setup to develop here. There is a chance for a few tornadoes, so a live stream does appear likely. Again, make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. We'll be going live most likely tomorrow. Here's the timing for tomorrow. Notice showers and storms will be possible during the morning. None of this severe. It'll actually Actually stabilize the environment a little bit. By the afternoon, we should get enough instability for there to be a couple of discrete supercells. This would be the main concern here. Those discrete supercells will be able to rotate, perhaps produce a tornado or two. Wouldn't rule out a strong tornado, but I think that risk does remain very low. And eventually, as we go into the late evening, storms will continue to march across Oklahoma with the conditional severe weather risk in areas like North Texas. I will be having another video most likely later today, breaking this down for you more in detail and as well as our threat for Monday. So make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit the like button down below and again, subscribe if you've not already. <laughs>